Hi, Mary. How you doing? Thank I'm, you so much for having me. Thanks for being here. How's it going over there? How you doing? It's good. It's good. I'm in LA. I mean, we're all home. Everybody's dealing with the same thing, but now the rain has stopped. It's sunny. The weather is good. It's like 98 degrees. So um, we definitely have the weather on our side. Excellent. Weather is always helpful for sure. Yes. So <laughs> yes. We're, we're here sort of cultivating conversations about mental health and the importance of safeguarding our mental health and, and protecting it and also normalizing conversations about it. So from your perspective, what are some of the most important aspects of this conversation that we should be highlighting right now? Well, I think um, a lot of times when people are struggling with something, whether it's even right now, like staying at home and not knowing what's going to happen or what tomorrow is going to bring, when we're going to go back to our real everyday lives, um, I think there's a lot of anxiety. At least that's what I'm feeling. Um, And I'm a very active person. So for me to be able to be at home and not really know what I'm going to do and get back to the um, to the everyday life is is not easy. Mm-hmm. And a lot of times people, when they go through the stuff, they go through the stuff on their own. And the more they kind of sit in the darkness, the more they contemplate on the negativity of the situation, the harder it gets. And I think uh, one very, very important, give yourself um, something physically active to do. Mm-hmm. Yeah, whether it's, you know, waking up in the morning and doing a little bit of the routine um, or um, going for a jog, of course, you know, being careful, wearing a mask. But I think one of the things that everybody needs to remember is um, the more we overanalyze and think about the negative things that are happening to us, the worse it gets. Right. And then when you calm your mind by being a little more active and creating a routine, it's like uh, it gives you happy endorphins. So, of course, for me, I'm a dancer. I would say, like, go on dancing and you can dance like no one is watching, literally, (laughs) (laughs) because no one would be watching, you know. Right. And nowadays on social media, you have so many lessons and so many things like that within your reach where you don't have to be shy and and, you know, hide behind the closed doors. Yeah, you can actually do that and enjoy dancing. So that would be my number one advice. And number two advice, you got to talk to somebody and talk to somebody that makes you comfortable. Someone with whom you can open up. Um, Because like I remember like the last because I I just gave birth and um, I have a two months old. Congratulations. Yeah, it's (laughs) it's 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 very exciting and not easy. Oh, my gosh. I take my hat off to all the new moms, you know? Um, But I I remember talking to one of my friends and like, I think I was in my last month. So like everything was difficult. Like there was always this big belly (laughs) in a way of everything. Right. And I kept telling her, it's like, I don't know how, first of all, how the labor is going to go, how everything is going to turn out. So like I kept panicking more and more and more. And that kept growing the panic in my head. And she goes, listen, everybody's difficult. You have no expectations. You come in with an open mind and you deal with it as it comes. Just, you know, take it in for what it will be. And I think with what everybody's going through and whether someone has a pre-existing condition or whether it's um, something that has developed like lately because of everything that's been going on, I think first and foremost, you got to talk to someone to let them know that you're experiencing it so they can let you know that you're not alone and there are certain things you can do and maybe reach out. And of course, NAMIs. I mean, like if you have an organization that's put in so much effort and work already and they're out there ready to help, that's a great way to start. Yeah. That's a lot of great advice, particularly in my case, dancing like no one's watching because no one wants (laughs) to see me dance, not like you. Um, Do you feel like you've sort of learned some new things about yourself? It's such a fantastic, incredible, unique experience to become a new mother in quarantine. What are some things that you've discovered about yourself, maybe some resilience or some like inner strength that you didn't even know you had? 
Well, um, I, I think patience is definitely um, one of the things. And it's not because of the new baby. The new baby, every day you're learning something. Mm-hmm. Like every day he's growing and he's doing things today that he didn't do yesterday. So that's a whole learning experience in itself. But um, I, I was a, like, honestly, um, I love babies. <laughs> like I love babies. But when I would come to my friends who had a newborn and they were like, here, hold. And I'm like, oh my gosh, like, how do I, you know, I wouldn't even know how to grab him or her. So I was panicking, like thinking, okay, the baby's going to be born. And I'm like, I'm not even going to know how to change a diaper. And everybody's like, it comes instinctively, like, don't worry. And I'm like, breastfeeding, breastfeeding was like a whole (laughs) shock to my, I'm like, I'm going to be like a dairy cow. Like what? (laughs) Like, right. So I, I was going through like a lot of anxiety leading up to the birth. And so I, I decided like, um, to move in with my parents as soon as the baby is born. So my mom can help. Mm -hmm. Right. So it's like, I'm not alone. And, um, I think when you are not used to (laughs) living with your parents, for a long time as an adult and then suddenly <laughs> you are wow yeah. <laughs> that's a whole different uh, set of skills that you have to attain and i love them to death it's like they've been so incredibly helpful and i i wouldn't be able to do it without them but that's 24 7 yeah in closed doors <laughs> so i think it definitely has taught me how to just like often to take a minute and take a breath and I mean, you can always lock yourself in one of the rooms and put on like the song that you like and the music takes you to a different place and then you come back out and everything is good again. Yeah, it's, uh, yeah. yeah, it's incredible. New baby in close quarters with your parents and you're smiling and finding all these coping methods. Thank you so much for being here today. That was wonderful having you. Thank you. Thank you so much for having me. And I hope everybody is doing amazing during this time. Thank you.